Welcome to Successful Living. I'm your host, Rob Arclair from Balanced Wealth Management in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. On today's show, we are going to talk about the word enthusiasm. And my son asked me the question today. He said, Dad, what, what do the words of the day actually have to do with finances? And I was baffled a little bit, but I said, the words that we use can have anything to do with life. So when we talk about enthusiasm, I think if we look at what happened the last 12 to 14 months, we've, we've kind of all lost a little bit of enthusiasm. Um, and I think now with things opening up, that enthusiasm is entering again. And we want to talk about the benefits of enthusiasm. And if you're having a tough time kind of getting things started again, what are some ways you can make yourself enthusiastic? Uh, we're then going to be joined by our real, real estate, estate expert, expert Chad, Chad Kurtzis from, from Home Smart, Smart Real Estate. And Chad will discuss the current real estate market along with how to prepare for any changes in the market. Um, we'll then talk about uh, setting up our children for financial success. And so whether you're a parent, a grandparent, an aunt, or an uncle, uh, that's really important to say, hey, get these kids started on the right foot, whether it's helping them get their first job, helping them save. So we're going to talk about that and give you some guidelines. And then finally, we're going to take our viewer question. So let's start out with the word of the day, which hopefully uh, is going to uh, resonate throughout the whole show, and that word is enthusiasm. So enthusiasm is, is an intense and eager enjoyment, interest, or approval. So that being said, uh, I read a book early in my career called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and one of the quotes from there was, enthusiasm is a state of mind that inspires and arouses one to put actions into the task at hand. Enthusiasm bears the same relationship to a human being that it does to a locomotive. It's the vital force that impels the action, and it's the steam of the locomotive. So when you think about what gets trains moving, it's that coal, it's that steam. What gets us moving on a daily basis? It's the enthusiasm that we can bring to what we do. So keeping that in mind, what are the benefits about being enthusiastic? Uh, the first one is connect us with our inner child. So. Our inner child reflects back to when we used to have fun, uh, hopefully for most of us. And by being enthusiastic like a child, we will use an unbiased creativity and we, we enter this judgment-free process and we, we live energetic. No one has kind of, you know, I don't want to say put us down or anything, but you, you have this unbiased opinion and you can be creative and enthusiastic. So connect yourself to how you felt when you were younger. Number two, it makes us more confident. So the energy that enthusiasm brings us makes us feel good. Uh, by feeling good, we're more confident and ultimately more successful. Number three, it improves motivation. So enthusiasm creates this burning fire within us to keep us upbeat, to keep us motivated, to keep us moving forward. Uh, when I train some kids uh, for basketball and we're, we're training at 6 a.m., you know, what do I need to do? I need to be enthusiastic and hopefully push them going forward. Uh, number uh, four gives you an advantage. So if we live life with enthusiasm, it will result in far more success. And number five, it's contagious. Not only is the activity contagious, but more importantly, surround yourself with people that are enthusiastic because it's contagious. And that's a very important piece of enthusiasm and just successful living in general. Um, so, you know, if you're finding it tough now, you say, well, those benefits all sound great, but how do I just make myself enthusiastic? So, you know, through our research, uh, we took a look at a few things. One is just do it. Uh, it's the old Nike, you know, phrase, and, you know, you don't want to be unauthentic, but, you know, force yourself to be enthusiastic. Uh, I start my day and, you know, just like the rest of us, I'm like a groggy, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to get this? I need to have my coffee. Honestly, you make yourself smile, hopefully. Um, for me, I go to like the local coffee shop. I totally enjoy doing that. And hopefully what I can do is bring some enthusiasm that I didn't have that kind of resonates throughout the rest of the day. Number two, surround yourself with enthusiastic people, uh, which I've already mentioned. Number three, set goals. Identify what's going to make you happy and how you're going to incrementally get there. Again, whether it's winning a championship, whether it's making a certain amount of money, whether it's taking time off. Uh, in my household, my wife is a teacher and I have three kids. Their goal is get to summer vacation. So, you know, it's all those things. Number four, take your cue from your children. Children are naturally happy. Uh, they haven't experienced setbacks for the most part, and they're naturally optimistic. You know, find that when you used to have that inner energy and flow and try to bring that back. And number five, do things you love. It's never too late. Whether you are 20 years old, 50 years old, 80 years old, people in all those realms have always reshifted their thinking uh, to do stuff that they love. And if you do that, you'll be enthusiastic. Add those parts to your life. When we return, we're going to be joined by Chad Kritzis, and Chad's going to talk about the current state of the real estate market. Stay tuned.